the hen. Let's think of eggs. They have no legs. Chickens come from eggs, but they have legs. The plot thickens. Eggs come from chickens, but they have no legs under them. What a conundrum. A turtle moves very slow, certainly not as fast as me. Place a snail on her back and hear the glee. The elephant. Ears alone are a joy to. Ears alone are a joy to to hear, to see. Sorry, <laughs> throw me off. Ears alone are a joy to see, and a long nose is quite, quite interesting. The sway of the body, the waltzing about. Even the small tail leaves no doubt. When put together, this animal is elegant. These, for these are the traits of an elephant.
tea leagues is truly the world's largest goldfish. He eats sharks and tons of shellfish. He's not afraid of anything, not even death. He's tired of seeing his breath. He does not try to annoy or bother anyone, and he tans well in the sun. He's intelligent and as bright as a candle. He's just too big for anyone or anything to handle. Fossils. That old thing, what could it be? The horn of a goat? Or maybe the bat's wing? <clears throat> like a very tired man after a hard day's work, it lies silently in a bed of sand, waiting for an explorer's searching hand.
A bird. I saw a bird in my yard. He winked at me. I smiled back.
the winter cold. Oh! <laughs> 
Zan Zipsy. Zan Zipsy likes pizza because it has cheese. They hate girls because they have so much beauty. And that's why there's only 900 left. lights out because I can't see anybody past the front row. So we wanted to oh, there, my gosh. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. So we thought we'd maybe share some secrets of mime and maybe teach some of the kids and the adults about the art of doing something with it. So um, first one thing, in your program it has an asterisk ne next to certain poems. And those are children who wrote these in a contest with us uh, at CSO to create some new poems. And so those are the children, they're either in fourth, fifth, or sixth grade who wrote these. So the power is with you. You can write a poem and have it so funny and, and sweet and exploratory and everything. It was an amazing experience for us to do that with the CSO and these kids. And the children didn't know their poems were going to be in the, uh, the concert until they got there. So that was a real thrill, I think. Okay. Do so you have any questions you'd like to ask? Right. Us? That's exactly what it is. Yes. Thank you for 
How did you put the string in your mouth? Okay, so what time did I woke up pretty early this morning, oh boy, and I put this this pill, this colorful pill in my mouth and it digested until I had to put it out here in the cold at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good story though, huh? <laughs> No, nah, so, she's making that up. I am making it up. It's just a magical thing. You can find them. <laughs> Any other questions? Do you guys normally line into music or is that? Well, uh, we, we started in our career in the beginning with classical music and orchestras, and also then we had our productions, our, our silent but movement and full stage set productions. We still do that. And, uh, but we always love doing it with the classical music. So this is part of the, actually the, the part children's, the Carnival of the Animals, and uh, the White Bird has been performed for children in, in certain schools and academies and things before. But um, uh, more of our family, like our, what's, um, like our vaudeville show that we do, The Cold, and things like that. But the Bach, now that's an innovations project. That's our project that we do with, um, with colleagues in music and uh, collaborators. And uh, so we do Bach's 15 two-part inventions. We do all 15. And we do Poulenc, uh, Satie, Daniel Dorf, who's a contemporary composer, um, uh, Libby Larson. Just wonderful, clever things that we have fun with. And it's for a general audience. It's adults and, and everybody else who comes. Yeah, so we love that. And we phrase to the music. I wanted to show you the difference between dance. Dance more or less goes to the beat of the music. We phrase like music phrases. So our emotions phrase to that music, our, our execution of a movement or movements will go with that music. So we don't go to the beat all the time unless it's a real, like a punctuation there, you know. Yeah. Uh, can, could you teach us some mime? Yes. <laughs> so all those people who want to learn some mime, just come on down here. Or just stand at the even, seat. Even with one arm, you can do lots right now. <laughs> just stand at your seat. Oh, that, down here is fine. Hi, I'm Lori. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, sweet. So do you have someone here with you? Over here. Behind you. Okay, there. <laughs> Great, you have a partner too, don't you? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Anybody else? Come on up. Mom and dad, pop, grandma, whoever, aunt, uncle, brother, sister. So when we do mine, we tell, we generally tell stories, but we have to know how to tell the stories. <laughs> In, in movement. So we, we learn a, a, a movement that is based on touching objects, like a chair, or a table, or what the kids love is the wall, <laughs> which I don't know where that came from because we never saw this. That came from <laughs> invisible wall. Right. So let's try that. We're going to start with our arms straight up like this, and our hand is relaxed. Okay, so you're going to have an imaginary wall in front of you, and you're going to take your arm and push it out there, and as you push it out there, you slowly open your hand. The fingers spread, and when you get to the wall, you're going to give the muscles here in this part of the arm a jerk, and you're touching the wall. All right? So you want to let go of the wall, you pull back, and the Fingers and everything curve. So on, flat and open, off, relax and curve. On, off, on, off. Let's do it with both hands. First one, then the other. On, on, off, off, on, on. When you make the wall with both hands, you must make sure that both hands go to the same wall. It doesn't look very good if you're making a wall and you place one hand here and one hand here. That was very tight. You have to place them both on the same <coughs> wall. 
And remember to keep your hand flat when it's on and relax when it's off. So we know when it's on and when it's off. And all the fingers and the thumb are spread out. So we can do one, the other, take one off, place it someplace else, take it off, place it someplace else. And you just have to watch, make sure that it's going to the same hole. Now we can use the wall to touch a rope. So if there's a rope hanging from the ceiling, we can make the wall by touching and then form your hand around the rope. Leave some space in your hand for the rope. And then another one. And then we can pull the rope. And then one hand moves up. The bottom one. You pull the rope. One hand moves up. And you pull the rope. One hand moves up. And you pull the rope. And as long as you keep the distance between your two hands the same, it'll look like a rope. We pull with both hands on the rope, and we stop. And they let go of the bottom, touch the top, pull with both hands. So you can take the rope here, and you can make it into a this rope on the side of you. Just like this, you just take it from here, and you say, okay, I'm gonna do it on the side. So you take it on the side, and you pull it. Okay, let go of this far hand, Bring it forward, touch, let go of this one, bring it forward, and now we're back to the beginning. Pull, stop, let go of one, grab, let go of the other, grab, pull. And then you can make all kinds of objects. You can touch, hand forms around a glass of milk. Okay? Sorry. Okay, and I think you're going to have cookies and milk, so... One thing I remember, we don't put the thumb near our mouth like this. Oh no, it's a tall glass. It's not a tiny glass. So we want to go. <laughs> Get that mustache, white mustache off. Now it's empty. But it could be filled up again. Whoa! <laughs> and we get out more. Very economical parents. <laughs> so, so now I think maybe it's time to fill the glass with real milk. Oh, milk and cookies. Milk and cookies. Well, thank you all for coming. So thank you very much for coming.